Suspense is the new way to define the UI loading states. Now, keep in mind, this is still an experimental feature. React, uh, the React team officially recommends using that with the Relay library, which is a GraphQL, I believe, library. And you should not use it in production yet. However, the React team does want to extend the usage of Suspense to all asynchronous calls. But first, what, let's talk about what it really is and what is the change itself. So on the left here, you, you can see my left, uh, my list component. And you can see that it's trying to fetch some kind of data and it also displays the loading state while the data is being fetched. Now, what Suspense introduces is I no longer have to define the loading state inside of my component. All I have to do, all I have to worry about really is just getting the data and then in the list's parents component, I can just wrap it, wrap the list with suspense and as the fallback attribute, provide my spinner. Now you may ask, why was this even introduced? And the answer is mixing concerns. So on the left here, you have the typical way of how you would fetch uh, data and how you would display the loading state, right? So the problem here is that we are mixing two concerns. One is fetching the data and two, displaying the loading state. Why is it bad, you may ask? Well, there are two reasons. The first one is that it's difficult or at least tedious to add service calls to existing components because not only you have to worry about, okay, I have my component and it, it has to fetch something and uh, I, have, I, I have to display the data somehow. I also have to worry, okay, while the data is loading, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna here, am, am I gonna return null or a spinner or whatever else? So that's the first issue. The second issue is that it's difficult to synchronize different components to show up at the same time after they fetch the data. So for example, I have my tree structure here. I have my main, the parent component that's called page and it has a header and a list. And both the header and the list are trying to fetch some kind of data. Well because they're, they're, they're getting a, a, a asynchronous data, they will receive it in separate times. So for example, header may appear first and the list later or the other way around. Now, this is not the best UX. We probably want both of the header and the list to display, to be displayed at the same time. So we have to, we have to take those, uh, fetching the services or fetching the data from the services logic away from header and the list and move it to the page and probably also wrap it in promise all to make sure that we receive the data at the same time. And then the page has to implement that and also the spinner itself. So now let's jump into a code example. So here I have my simple code example of how to use suspense. I have my two components one called magic answer, the other one called unexpected thing. And as you can see, this is how I use suspense. I just wrap my components with suspense and I define loading component or a component with text loading as uh, the fallback attribute. And this is what happens when I refresh the page. I see my loading te text and then after a while I have my uh, my answers, my answers of life, important questions answered finally, <coughs> excuse me. Both of those components are using some kind of service, right? So suspense will not display any of the components inside of it until all of their service calls finish. What does it mean? Let's say I want to add another component here inside of my suspense, but this time this is just going to be a regular text that displays, Hey, Oh, wrong button. As you can see here, I'm going to refresh it again. So you, you can see it more clearly. I don't see my Hey text displayed immediately. Why? Let me see that again, because magic answer and unexpected thing hadn't finished their fetching yet. And because of that, suspense that didn't, didn't display anything. Let me refresh the page again. As you can see, I only see the loading text and Hey 
is being displayed only after all of the fetching is done. Now let's see what happens when I have suspense inside of another suspense. As you can see here, I moved my unexpected thing component into a suspense that also defines a fallback, but this time color red, because I want to make it distinguishable easily. So let's say what happens. I'm refreshing my page. I see my loading text and I see another loading. So what happened here is that this component, this unexpected thing component didn't start fetching its data until the whole, uh, the inside of the top suspense component was rendered. So what happened was that this suspense, this, the, the top suspense was waiting for the magic answer to finish rendering. Once it did, this suspense could start waiting for the unexpected thing component. So let's take one more look. I click refresh. I saw my initial loading. And then again, while this information was being fetched, then the other suspense kicked in and that was the result. So that's pretty much it. One thing worth mentioning is that, as I said in the beginning of this video, Currently, React Team only recommends using Suspense with the R Relay library, uh, GraphQL library. Because of that, it's not available for all data calls. And in order to use S Suspense currently, as of now, as of the time of making this video at least, you have to wrap all of your promises, all of your asynchronous data calls into this logic. You have to return an object with the read function and that's how you will tell uh, suspense that hey I actually want to use you because if you don't this will not work as I said the react team wants to use suspense for all kinds of data fetching so maybe in react 20 21 22 I don't know in the future we won't have to wrap our promises with that but hey that's the future so Please leave a like if you enjoyed this content, uh, subscribe and leave a comment and also let me know if you want me to cover any other topic. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.